Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. For years, I have been a fan of the pocket bellows. This little device allows you to easily put air or essentially oxygen into a fire wherever you want it. You can be very pinpoint and exacting as to where to add the oxygen. For example, to get a wood stove going, to get it back going after it ran out of fuel, or in the morning even, after a nice big campfire is burnt out, there's still usually a couple of coals. You could put a little bit of small stuff on top, get that pocket bellows out, and get yourself a fire with very little effort. But here's the thing, who needs a little pocket bellows when you can have a electric powered fan? Yeah, there's nothing ultra light about this stove, but it is really cool. Now, you do have to be careful because with the fan on, it really chews through the wood, so make sure you have plenty available. I like the fact that you can cheat a little bit and use the fan to help get your fire going initially, especially. You don't have to have the perfect amount of wood or the perfect type of wood. If you can just get something going in the firebox and be a little patient and time when you turn that fan on perfectly, you'll be golden pretty much every time. This is the BRS-116. Now, I ordered this stove from AliExpress, and they originally sent me the wrong one. They sent me the BRS-73. I actually love that stove so much, it worked out. Not only that, it became one of my most popular videos to date, but I still wanted this one, so I ordered it anyway. Go ahead and pull this thing out. Got a couple pieces here. It's a nice hard case. Dimensions like this are 5.3 by 5.3 by 3.1, and it weighs 1.6 pounds. It does have this kind of convenient folding design. You just hit this little latch right here, boom, pops open. Pull this out, it pops into place right there, so it's locked, and then you just open this up. And what you wanna do is look for this little carved out part, which corresponds to this right here, so it's gonna pop just like that. And there is your complete stove. Pretty simple. It's made out of aluminum and stainless steel, made in China. Cost is $46, that's how much I paid on AliExpress. Comes with this motor over here. This is a 0.9 watt motor, has a standard USB connection, okay? It comes with a holder for AAA batteries, which is this right here, and you just hook this straight up. It has an inline switch, so you can turn it on. It actually cycles from low to high to off. You can also just plug it up to your standard uh, power bank and it'll work just fine as well. Plug this up, you can hear the fan. There it goes. That's low and off. Now let's get a fire started and we'll boil up some water. I'm just gonna put some wood along the bottom here, kind of crisscross it a little bit. We're gonna put a fire plug from ProCamTech right on top here. And once we get it going, we'll put more pieces across the top. You really want to let the fire get nice and established before you kick that fan on. There we go. Put this right over the top. These are just long enough. I think we'll just leave it right there and let's let that catch. It'll kind of sink into itself. Oh my goodness, the smell of burning wood is the best. So let's just let that go for a little bit, let everything catch. Once it kind of sinks into itself and we get a good amount of coals going, we'll turn on the fan. Starting to catch pretty good right now, but we're gonna let it get real good. It's super important, i found, when you're using this stove, you really want the fire pretty well established. You can, we could turn it on now, Okay, I'm going to turn it on so y'all see. It doesn't seem to make much difference. Now part of the problem is, is that we're out and it's pretty windy as it is, so I don't know how much of a benefit we're going to get from the fan, but we'll see it here in a little bit, what we get. All right, everything is starting to get pretty well lit. So what I'm going to do is just kind of try to knock this in on itself. Honestly, that'll probably be enough wood to get our water boiling. We're gonna set our water on. Just like that. And I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so we can see if we can capture just what a difference the fan makes. All right, things are pretty calm right now. No wind. Let's turn this thing on. 
Oh, it just caught on. That's not on. Now let's turn it on. And you can definitely see a difference. Put it on low. We'll turn it off. You can see it calm down. Okay, I've zoomed you in a little bit more. It's calmed back down. Let's turn the fan on high. Now that is a pretty big difference. I'm just gonna let it go. In an emergency or if you're in a hurry, this is a really good way to cook over an open fire. It's also good for people who don't have the most experience in building fires. Like I said, that fan and the ability to infuse that oxygen into the flame makes it a lot easier to get it going. So if you're kind of a novice and you want an emergency wood stove that's easy to use, I think this is a really good option. Like I said, one of the downsides is you need a good wood supply because it does go through the wood pretty quickly. When you're pushing that oxygen straight through, it's gonna burn really hot and really fast. Now one option that I really recommend is wood pellets. Let me show you guys how well this thing works with wood pellets. When you use wood pellets like this, it is surprising just how long a handful of wood pellets will last. So if you want to use wood pellets, get yourself a big bag off Amazon or at Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere. Ace Hardware, uh, Walmart, Menards. You get the point. Maybe you can steal some off a of buddy or your parents. Nonetheless, once you procure your wood pellets, get yourself a nice big plastic dog food container. One of those that has seals on it to keep the dog food fresh. Just keep your wood pellets in there and they will last forever and you'll have them around for any emergency you may have. If you ever end up needing it, you'll be glad you did. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I do have an entire playlist on stoves. Imagine that. About 130 videos now on that stove playlist, so make sure you leave a link down below. If you ended up coming here because you found this stove and you want to see more stoves, listen, our channel's all about stoves. We, we got all kinds of videos, but stoves are our thing, so check out the stove playlist. Do me another big favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It helps spread things across YouTube, helps my channel grow. I don't do any Patreon, I don't accept any donations. I mean, every once in a while I get some during a chat, but I don't ask for donations, and I'm not going to ask for donations. This channel is just a labor of love. All the money that I make from the channel goes straight back to you guys with all these products that I review. So if you can just hit that like button, it will really help. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button down below, and if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you won't miss any videos. I'm on my trip here in Arkansas trying to get some videos done early this morning so I can go down there to the lake and fish aimlessly for hours again and not catch anything. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.